Hi you all, let's continue with this transition to Open Fun 11. So at this point we have covered it a lot. I have to say that 90% of the steps we have covered it. So this is just identify your new class and add it in your control did and pretty much that is. Okay, you have form drawn and then form post presets and we're done. The other 10% it is uh, specific keywords since that have been changed in Open Fun 11 and programming, but I'm thinking that we're more practitioners, so we're, we're not going to address programming. So we're pretty much there. So before moving to the next tutorial, I want to remind you just please subscribe to our channel or join, join, join the channel to support, support you know, our work and help us create more material. And well, we started with this tutorial, the driven cavity, okay? So I hope you revisited okay another time then the flow passes it in there and we have been working in this case okay we started with for, from the most simple setup we went to the compressible setup okay we identify a new class and we are going to end now from, with the cylinder for for good in this case so we're going to move to the troubling case okay so pretty much nothing changed okay so we have this here and just the solution and the difference that now we have this extra quantity which is the turbulent viscosity i'm not going to talk much about turbulence that is another completely different video so let's move to this case and let's see what happens okay as you see we have everything okay we have the same case and if we enter into in this case so we stay in compressible so now previously we moved from the compressible case that was fluid we could have used the chalk fluid, but that solver, I, I don't like it, but you can test it, okay? Now we stay here and we go to incompressible fluid, okay? Then we move to other tutorials. We're going to cover the BOF and also probably I will do one in combustion. Let's see what happens, okay? Uh, also, if you have suggestions, just feel just to add a comment. Okay, so this case it is incompressible. Okay, so we have, uh, by the way, we're going to run, uh, let me, I don't recall the rain was 100,000, so it's fully turbulent. So the only thing remember is that here controlled it. Okay, so all the files have been updated to open phone 11, so incompressible and fluid, and pretty much this is it. You set up that there. You put your value there. I want to remind you that in constant is physical properties and it's the same physical property for the compressible case. So now everything has been unified. You recall previous version it was transport properties. It's a recall and well recall and thermophysical properties. Okay, so now everything has been unified in a single file. So file. So I think that that is, that, that is positive. Okay, so basically this is it. So very positive, okay, you don't have that confusion between files. And also to remind you here that viscosity model is a new key, but also it's back, there is back compatibility with transport model. But it's better just to to do the transition now to the new keywords and so on. Okay, so in zero boundary conditions, there is nothing new here. Just this file, this one is nothing new and system just control did in SB solution, SB skin, nothing new. SB solution, the only new thing that is not new or is a, a removal that the piece of keyboard, okay, so recall that here also sometimes you have the piece of piece of the same exist more. So pretty much that is, that, that's it, okay, guys. So we're done, that is your transition. And remember the commands to run now is phone run and form post process, okay? So phone run will substitute your solver. So this is how you run parallel, and in this case, will be in parallel. And this is just to do the a posteriori post processing. So previously it was something like this. Now it's like this. I think this is redundant, okay? So let's see what the developers say, because you already have that that there, but you need to put it there. Otherwise, it's not going to compute anything. And this is how we run. Okay, there are no new commands. Well, we have the phone to see, and just to remind you. So, for instance, now I'm going to run the case the turbulent case. So, what turbulence models are compatible with this incompressible solver? So, remember, we can go phone to see. You have their tables to see what all the libraries that we can access so usually uh, here you can see that there are a lot of stuff so let's see that we should have here rust so we go table and then rust i can use tab for auto completion and i will look for the 
the specific one for incompressible and there you go so all these models are compatible and the same way you can interrogate with different viscosity models so see that for instance for different uh, libraries so see that you have viscosity model so let's see what viscosity models do we have with this incompressible okay so and there you go you have this well this is not for this incompressible this is for multi-phase so it should be some other entry but this is how how we can interrogate everything i think yeah will be transfer probably will be this one okay but it's up to you now so get familiar with that also you have the phone info okay so often phone info you can ask for a specific more general question so for instance in this case i'm going to use the k omega sst for example so i go k omega sst and then phone info will tell me okay it will give me <laughs> different actions so in this case let me see i want to use three and there you go uh, okay well that was the, the wrong selection so let me use one okay there you go so you have and basically it, it, it is interrogating the source code okay so this is like doing grab or using those those units tool okay so this is the way this is our documentation and how we can interrogate so that's it guys we have done we are in that 90 percent i think you should be at this point a uh, fully uh fully proficient now in in open Finance 11 just do these small modifications and then the rest will be just finding those new keywords so at this point i think you can stop watching this video is this anything else for those who wants to continue though with this video we're going to talk a little bit turbulence and some keywords okay so let's move to that so function address okay so okay let me go to the specific in constant here's where you define the turbulence model okay so in this case k omega sst nothing change okay we go to boundary conditions by the way i like to, to do like this no this is where i have sometimes i modify my boundary conditions so i use initialization and so on so this is to have my original case and then just copy this one to this one and that's all so you have new variables k omega nu this is related to a turbulence model i'm not going to talk about that okay so that is as i say a different turbulence model but you have it there very standard nothing new in open fun 11 there are not even the the bond the wall functions everything is exactly the same there are no new wall functions nothing new okay so now we move here so the important things okay we well, already think already this is that okay so this is stay the same it stays the same uh, this is the same for initialization just to mention something here about this and renumber mesh also you can access a dictionary for a specific entry so as you go to let's go sv solution okay so a standard definition and this is my my personal dictionaries and this is how i like to set up this remember that everything goes here that now is pimple you no know, and on steady uh and then just set up my loop okay nothing new and then sv skins okay we're doing on a steady and this is pretty much a standard so everything that you have learned from previous uh training in, in our channel the one in open for nine everything applies is exactly the same so what i want to address is on that particular things related to the function objects okay in this case so also see that the adjustable time says but it it works exactly in the same way so in this case it's going to limit your delta t uh, according to the condition that reach first so you can reach first the maximum CUDA or the maximum delta t i think in this case it, it reached first this one and so it will limit everything to this time step okay so mass flow conservation this is pretty much the same okay remember that now here is select okay and patch previous version i don't recall the region type or something like that okay then fill average okay so here there are a few additions modifications now this this keyword is outside previously it was in this bracket and then also read the the documentation because also there are a few things that change here new keywords and so on okay so for instance we can do full and info okay so I stay up to date because some keywords have have changed fill average and let me go to and see that you have here the new keywords okay 
and so on and how, how to set up cases. Okay, so we move for just this when it stays the same. And actually now here it used to be P name. Now, well, they erase the P name. So that those are the things that sometimes it's a little bit annoying. Uh, for me, it probably was better like this, but any case. So when it comes to compressible, also remember that this is how you set up for incompressible cases. Okay, so you need to, to, to define this one. Okay, and then you give a reference density now to compute the coefficient or you can go uh, uh sorry this is the forces that you need to give this to compute the wall shear stresses and so on and here is for the force co coefficients pretty much the same okay let me skip this one then minimum and maximum values i always like to input this so this is the way i like to to, to work probably also you're familiar that there are these pack function objects in, in open phone i prefer to to have my own fun function object but it's up to you, you know as you go to the to original tutorials you will see that they pack it and actually i think here as you go case this uh bam bam somewhere here should be those i think post processing probably here post processing fields and then you you, you can point out to this there are some cases here this one fill average cfg so you can point out this one and we'll look to this one and then you you can set up now your case using this pack function idea but i prefer to define everything now just to create that that function uh that that muscle memory so what i want to address here was this function idea the y plus because this is a question actually that i would like to, to address i have that list and of a question that some people have said. and let me go here and put this files okay so let me run the case so let me go here and let me go block mesh and phone run to put it in Syria and many people ask me okay I'm running but I don't see my y plus value no so in older versions this value the, the, the behavior was that every iteration you you were able to see this value so but I think from version 7 8 whatever it's not like that okay so what you can do is that put this when you're computing this field this one is the one that we're computing okay my computer is a little bit temperamental okay okay now it's working so basically we'll save the function object the field in the output time of the solution okay so when you save this one it will also print out that information so or it would save it in a file there there would be let me see should be okay somewhere about zero one i think it should have that value let's see here okay uh, okay probably somewhere here i will see my white plus or no da -da -da -da. okay i don't recall actually the, f the saving frequency so my saving frequency ah is every second so when you reach one second it will save that field and okay already have there so let me go 19 da, 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 da. okay i pass there okay so as i say i, I am off a script so things can go wrong okay i have it here and here i think it's save it somewhere okay so as you go to the folder, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. A little bit slow my computer. Okay, so I see that you have your white plus field. It should it should print it to screen and then also in post processing you will have this okay and as you open the, the this file you will have minimum maximum and average value with the saving frequency okay so as you go to the time or probably i don't know if you have it i probably i think i need to enable the the log file let me go here so yeah i need probably to put it to true and then it will save it now it will show you on the screen but you don't see in every, every iteration that that information so many people ask me though no, i want to see that information in every iteration okay i don't want to wait for for that frequency and it's true you know it's very valid comment so to do that and this applies to every function object that you save a field by the way so see that i have two function objects you have this one and then this is the field 
And then I have this one that I call it a stat statistic. It's pretty much the same, and let, let, let me enable, and now you will see that previously, look at my screen, I, I'm not printing anywhere that information, or probably only when you are saving the field. But now when I enable this one, see that in every single iteration I have that information, but I'm not saving that field. I only printing the statistics, okay? that general statistics. So the way to do this one is that you create it, you give it a name. So usually do like this, Y plus field to save the field, Y plus stops to save the statistic, okay? And usually also I I put this one to false, okay? I don't want to save the that log file, okay? I just want to save the field a, every given time. But what is happening here is that you put it in the same way, but now change the frequency, okay? So see that in this one is output time every second, as we said. It. But if you put in this case output time like this, it will it will give you the information on a screen. Okay, you put it like this every time see, on a screen, but every time it also will save this field a lot of information. So what we can do is that you define like this, but now add this key here, this keyword objects, and do not put anything there. So if you don't put anything there it is not going to save that field, okay? So this is the trick, okay? In this case, if you don't put that by default, it will save that field, but also you can go and explicitly, you can define it like this. So see that you can go something like this, and now explicitly you are defining, okay, I want to save that field. But this is the trick, okay? Attention, this works with any, any field, Mac number, whatever. Okay, so this is how I usually I usually do well. I usually, this is how, how, how I do it. If I want to get this statistic every every single time. Step. So I put it like this, and to avoid writing that field every single time, step, I just do like this. And to show you what will happen, so if I come on this one, it keep running, okay, but now every single iteration I will have that, that field, okay? And let me stop it here, okay, to show you there so i go see that it's saving every single time that is saving that fill okay instead in the previous behavior in the previous case when i commented that one see that it wasn't saving that fill every single time time so, okay so this is the way around this is how i do it Okay, that is, was the only thing that I wanted to show you. What else I wanted to talk a little bit turbulence also. So now also we're enabling turbulence. Okay, like in the previous case, now the, the supersonic we disabled. You can run it also now, but I just wanted to, to show you how to do that. And in constant, now you define your viscosity and so on. So nothing changed. Okay, I have it here. Okay. So pretty much the same. This parameter you can also change it on the fly. I think this is uh, introducing an open fountain. I don't recall well, but pretty much it is. Also, you have the the momentum transport, saying you can switch off, switch on the model, and so on. Okay. So pretty much the, all these those behaviors are the same as previous one. What we have changed here is these two keywords very important and how we execute the solvers and then some functional objects have some keywords. Okay, so this is it for this case. So now let's run it, okay, so in parallel, okay? So we have this create. Okay, and this create, okay, let me open this script. And also I want to mention something about the cases and here, these files. So our script, well, okay, it's here. So we run fun run in parallel. Also, fun post process can run in parallel or serial, no problem. What uh, what I wanted to say about this case is that really the cylinder because just want to to to, to point out that this, this this is coming from the training material now that we have open for nine that we do this case and we have like thirty variants of this cylinder, many different physics that we put there, different Reynolds numbers, supersonic, moving meshes, okay, uh, with free surface and so on. So this is why I, I like this case, it's very flexible. You have this strong steadiness that you can give, you know, you can experiment the different solvers and so on, and it's very affordable, okay, so this is why I like. This case we're working Reynolds 100,000 using the this model with wall functions, okay. And just to mention something else about 
wall functions and meshing and more utilities so in this case and let me go here let me cancel for this time so i will cancel all times okay also you have this read me first file so here you have the command for instance if you want to refine the mesh close to the wall you can do like this so this is pretty much the same as open phone 10. okay just to show you that it is perfectly compatible okay so if i do like this okay see that uh, uh, uh so okay i use the override option so let me redo the mesh and i don't want to use the override option just to show you what is doing that because in this case where you realize that the white plus it was something like 200 okay it's a little bit high but if you want to go wall resolving you can redo your mesh you know and put more cells but th then you have this trick i really like this trick i do it many times so this is the original mesh and when, when you use that command refine wall layer so see that it will automatically refine well not automatically according to what you you say now it's going to refine that okay so there you can start to add more 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 layers until you get that decided white plus okay so you have it there and it works exactly the same way as in the previous versions or in version 10. okay so let's run now this case okay i'm not going to show you everything so it's going to run in, in parallel okay but what is interesting is pay attention at the behavior of okay so you can launch uh this script now just to plot the force coefficients okay coef so pay pay attention at the behavior of this one and recall the tutorial the first one that we did with the cylinder that the onset of instability was really fast in this case we're not using set fields to initialize but have in mind that you have it there in the script and you can uncomment the option and you can test and you can see the difference and why some, in some cases it is important to add some, some kind of perturbation. So let's wait for this and, and let's see what happens. Okay, so the simulation is over 250 seconds so just to point out if you see so look at it, the first of all let's take a look at the y plus average row remember that we set up the function object just to print a statistic every iteration but also to save it with the frequency of one second or so so see that the average value is something about 81 so we have we are using wall functions so you need to to do your case setup okay to have you know the right boundary condition so that is something that we will address in some other tutorials on other training. And let's take a look at here behavior of CLCD. Okay, so you recall the previous tutorial and the onset, it was something like in 20 seconds, I don't recall well, but it was quite early. And look at the difference. Now, how you, can you accelerate your convergence or to reach a specific you know, periodic steady or, or in a steady behavior by adding a perturbation? So. In this case, we didn't add that perturbation. We started from a, from a uniform field and it took a long time to unset that instability, like a hundred seconds. Okay. So imagine that you're running a very big case that, that, that is time consuming. Okay. So in order to avoid this, what you can do is just add some kind of perturbation and then you unset that instability. So you can rerun this case, just enable set fields and you will see that you're going to have all this behavior already like in 40 or 50 seconds. You're, you're, so you're going to save a lot of time. However, if your interest is just to compute the whole transient, yeah, nothing to do, you need to do the computation. But most of the time we, we're not interested in that transient. And to end this tutorial also here, just to point out that for the naysayers, you know that uh, open fund doesn't run with large time set. Just to point out here that I put 10, Okay, but this one check when it's running, it reached the, the, the maximum delta T01 that it is equivalent to a uh, of 2.2. But here, for instance, you can increase this and put there like one second and here put 100 
and it will run it runs okay but the important thing is that you need to have a good pneumatics to deal with that so you need to do here in in pimple to do at least at least two corrections ideally it would be five and we already talk during the cylinder case that we talk about that one on a steady solver how to choose the ideal time step and so on okay but what is important that it might work but if you choose a, a time step that is too large you are going to completely miss your whole physics so if you choose a time step and then that time step is larger than the, this frequency so it will run you will get a solution nice color whatever but you are missing the whole physics okay so be careful about that okay but yes you can use whatever cfl number you want okay after all this is implicit solver Okay, except for that raw central that is explicit, but implicit solvers, they, they don't have a limitation. The limitation will be in the physical point of view. Okay, and maybe sometimes it will have some influence in matrices, but I think first will be the physics that you're going to completely miss the, the physics. So this is it, okay, we ended the, the cylinder for good, no more cylinder, we're going to move to some other cases to introduce now. For instance, interphone, we use it's not, it doesn't exist anymore, so let's see how to set up that case, but you get the idea, you, I think you have the, the gist of how everything works. Okay, so thank you for your attention. Remember to subscribe to our channel and see you next video. Bye.